Hi everyone, thanks for joining me on another new stitch video. In this one I'm going to show you how to do the slip stitch mini chevron rib. This stitch is fairly simple and it's created by actually slipping several stitches and then picking up what we what we call the yarn float and knitting it um, together with the stitch. And I'll show you all that in just a minute. I've provided the pattern details in the description field below and I'm actually going to show you two variations of this stitch. In this uh, variation that you see here in this swatch, there's um, the stitches are slipped Several stitches are slipped, so like five stitches are slipped, versus this one here, which is a smaller uh, a swatch where the, the chevrons are a little bit smaller, or the V-shapes are a little bit smaller because only three stitches are slipped. So either version I think looks better. I'm a little bit partial, I think, to this, this larger chevron version. So I was trying to design a hat with that, and I knit this sample up, um, still sort of tinkering with the details, but once I, once I have a, a good version, of this, I'll be sure to do a video. I'm also doing this with a with a double cuff, um, with a double cuff at the at the start. So, um, planning a video on that as well. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let me show you how to do this stitch. I think it'll work great for any kind of project, um, a scarf, a pattern. I'd actually used a, another variation of this stitch a long time ago to knit a pullover, and so. Um, really lots of utility for the stitch. So let me show you how it's done. Now I'm going to show you the, demonstrate the five slip stitch pattern first. So here I have a sample going already and I'm doing this with a slightly darker color yarn. Actually I'm using the same yarn as I used for this, um, the cuff here. And I already have a, f a couple pattern repeats knit up. Now for the, the larger version as I'm calling it, you need to cast on a multiple of six stitches plus one. So I have here 19 stitches. So that's three repeats of six plus one stitch. Now the very first row, the first and the third row are the same. The second and the fourth row are, are the ones where there's slight variation. And so um, the pattern itself is a four row repeat. Now the very first row, and you would start this from the, the cast on edge, and the first row faces the wrong side. So you're gonna do a knit one, and then the pattern repeat is purl five, knit one. So just a regular purl five, and then knit one. And so we're gonna do this a couple more times in my sample here. And knit one, and Make sure I don't split the yarn. Pro five. Knit one. So you keep doing this repeat all the way to the end of the row. And that's the end of row one. We're going to turn our work. Now row two, you're going to knit the first stitch and then begins the pattern repeat, which you'll do all the way to the end. So the pattern repeat is you're going to bring the yarn to the front. Okay, then you're going to slip the next five stitches. What that means is you're going to take your needle, insert it as if to purl, just bring the stitch over without doing anything to it. We'll do that to the next four stitches. So we slip a total of five. And now our yarn is in the front, which is where we had left it. We're now going to take the yarn to the back. So watch what happens when I do that. I'm going to take the yarn to the back. I'm going to create this, what's called a yarn float, right? So we're letting that yarn just float to the front. You want to make sure that this yarn stays a little bit on the looser side. Don't pull it too tight, okay? Don't have it super loose either, but just just enough of a give, all right? And then you take the yarn back and then you knit one. And that is your pattern repeat to the end of the row. We'll see that a couple more times. Bring the yarn to the front, slip five, take the yarn to the back, and knit one. And one more time. All right, that's the end of row two, and you can see we've got these little yarn floats right here. I'm gonna turn and do row three, row three, same as row one. So we knit one, and then we do the pattern repeat of purl five, knit one. And that's the end of row three. And now row four. 
the last row in the pattern. So for row four, the pattern is you knit the first three stitches, just a regular knit, and then starts the pattern repeat. So the pattern repeat is you're going to do a knit two together, but to, to knit those two stitches, you're going to actually take your right needle and you're going to pick up this yarn float, just like that, right? So that's your one stitch, and now you're going to insert your needle into the, the stitch on the left needle. And that's your two stitches that you are now going to knit together. So just go to knit, make sure you pull the yarn out through both stitches, and then you drop off that stitch on the left needle. And that's what causes that yarn float to get pulled up in the shape of that V. All right, so I'm calling that my fancy knit two together. So we do the fancy knit two together, and then you knit five. So one, two, three, four, five. And you'll keep doing that pattern repeat to the last four stitches. So let's see that one more time. You're gonna do that fancy knit two together. So take your needle, pick up that float, insert it into the, the, the stitch on the left needle, knit both of them together, and then drop the stitch and knit five. So you'll keep doing this till you get to the last four stitches. Once you get to the last four stitches, you're gonna do one more fancy knit two together. So again, pick up that yarn float, knit it together, and then you're gonna knit the last three stitches. And that's it, that's the fourth row. That's the four stitch or four row pattern repeat. And you'll notice how these little V's form, right? So for the variation, um, the three stitch variation, this one here, um, instead of, oh, I'm holding it the wrong way. This one here, instead of, um, we take the yarn to the front, but instead of slipping five stitches, we just slip three stitches, okay? So I'm not gonna show, actually show it to you here because the technique is the same. Um, so just follow the pattern along if you wanna try the, the, the smaller variation or you can, you can try the five stitch variation. Either one I think works. Um, the swatch that forms or your work that forms, it lays pretty flat on the sides. Um, it curls up a little bit at the, at the cast on edge and you can block that and that should flatten out. So I hope you like the stitch and I hope you give it a try for one of your upcoming projects. Once I have a, a good pattern for the, the hat video I'll, or for the hat, I'll be sure to do a video tutorial on that. So until I see you on another video, happy knitting.